Welcome to video 32 on fun with Arduino. Now that we have our stepper motor running in the previous video, it's time to add a couple of features like control the speed of the rotation and control the direction of rotation. Let's have a look how we can do that. Uh, for the direction change we're going to use a simple toggle switch which is connected to an Arduino input pin and to change the speed we can use a couple of methods like an analog uh, potentiometer or a digital uh, rotary encoder or we can type in a value which we can read with the serial parse int command. Um, we have been working with all three of these methods in previous videos so it doesn't really matter which one we choose. Uh, let's go for an analog potentiometer and see how we can change the speed of our motor. So let's see what we need to do to add direction and speed. Well in the defines we now have a potentiometer input and we have a direction pin and we have a direction LED pin and that is all that has been changed over here. Then we have created a byte for the speed, the RPMs and the RPM old because I want to print the speed on the serial monitor and I only want to print if it has changed. Then a new function is the unsigned long step interval. This function is not a void function like these ones uh, over here. It is a function which has a type, an unsigned long in this case. Which means this function can return a value and that value is an unsigned long. You can also have a byte or an integer function. So a function can return a value, a number in this case. And that return is done over here. It is the statement also is called return and then the calculation of our speed in microseconds. So this is the value that it returns if we call this function step interval. How does it work? Well the, the revolutions per minute are the map of the analog read of our potentiometer. We know that our potentiometer goes from 0 to 1023. For certain reasons I added 1 to that and I want the output between 1 to 12 and for the exact reason I added 1 to that and that means that now I get an exact mapping of 0 to 1023 to 1 till 12. There was a previous video which explained why you have to add one. Um, then we uh, do a, a bit of serial printing only if the value has changed so that we can see on the serial monitor screen what the exact RPM is at this moment in time. And then we return that value. And then we also have a new function over here called direction, dir for short. And it does nothing more than read our digital uh, input, the dir pin, and then write our dir let pin. And that's all there is to it. And then it returns, it's a byte function as we can see, so this also returns a value, yes it returns the value of the, the switch. It's a 0 or a 1. And by that we can change the direction. So how do we change the direction? Well we do that in the do one step function. If the direction is 1 then we increment our step number else we decrement our step number. That's all there is to it to change the direction. Nothing else has changed, so we can have now have a look at how this works out in practice. Let me switch the motor on again, and it's still running at 12 RPM. We can also see that here on the serial monitor, but I can now rotate my potentiometer and slow it down. Uh, well, let's let's go to 1 RPM, which means it makes now one revolution per minute. Well, I'm not going to wait for it, but we can see that it is running really nice and tidy uh, on a very, very low speed. 
And we can also change direction over here. Yeah, that works perfectly well. And we can see here the direction LED is lit also. So this is uh, yeah how it works. A direction, an on-off switch we have of course, and then a direction switch and a speed control with which we can vary the speed between 1 till 12 rpm. Uh, this was it. Thank you for watching. In the next video we are going to drive the exact same motor, but now we are going to drive it for an exact amount of pulses. So we make a position control with it, which we can use for let's say a turntable or an elevator or a shifting movement or whatever. See you back there.